just for the run. Right. <coughs> Okay, let's discuss this as well, and then you practice this station, and practice a couple of stations after this. Cancer pathway. <coughs> so, you have to see where this patient has presented to you. So, cancer pathway, let's talk about lung cancer as we're discussing respiratory medicine. So, what can be the presenting complaint of the patient? Can be weight loss, can be any general symptom, right? But the symptom could be uh, hemoptysis as well, as you're talking about lung cancer, isn't it? So hemoptysis can be there, and other general cancer symptoms we know, we can ask those as well. Anemia, shortness of breath, I mean, all those, uh, loss of weight, appetite, and lots and lots anywhere in the body. We can ask those things, right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, hemoptysis, can you tell me other differentials as well for hemoptysis? You can use the restroom, it's one there as well. Just go straight, uh, just beside the stairs. Yeah. Right. So where we were? Yeah. So hemoptysis, other differential? Huh? It's a facial virus. Okay, but you know, mostly presentation will be hematemesis. Maybe. maybe not hemoptysis. Hemoptysis, you're saying, is the blood and the cough. Embolism, yeah. But if uh, embolism, I think you're looking for acute history, not chronic. But okay, I'll take that. For one embolism. Maybe any infection, TB, PCP, any pneumonia can give you blood and cough. Bronchial stress is okay, cough is slum, but yeah, I agree. Cancer is there, obviously. My patient is on blood thinners. My patient is having any blood disorder. I have just done bronchoscopy yesterday in my patient. So that can be the reason of uh, uh, hemoptysis as well. Right. So make sure we are ruling out other things as well. Now the thing is, most of the time you will see the presentation is chronic, not very acute. Isn't it? Patient might say, I'm having a uh, cough for last two months or so. Patient might say, I'm, I started having blood in my cough for last uh, uh, one, two weeks and all. So you have to see where this patient came to you. If the patient came to you in the GP, what you will do? You have to refer this 